So in a previous lecture, we spoke about and defined what resonant forms and resonance is. Now in this lecture, we're going to do three examples shown here, and our goal will be to find as many resonant forms as possible. So remember, whenever we're trying to do resonance and we're trying to find resonant forms, we're only moving electrons. The atoms never actually move. So let's redraw this molecule with the atoms being in the same exact place as shown here. So we have the H atom, the C, the H atom here. We have our N atom and the two H's here. So notice our atoms haven't actually moved. But what has happened? Well, what can we do here? Well, look at this plus charge here. We don't like having charges. Charges means destabilization. We want to stabilize this Lewis dot structure by removing this plus one charge. The way we can do that is basically take this double bond here or take this, these two electrons, a pair of electrons, and use error formulism to move these electrons here. Remember, an arrow, a double haired a double-headed arrow simply means that a pair of electrons is being moved. So these two electrons are being moved from here onto here, and so let's draw our two electrons here. Now what has happened is this N now has five electrons, and that means this has been neutralized to a neutral charge. But now this carbon has a positive charge, and so let's draw a plus charge here. And this concludes our resonant forms for this molecule. We have two major resonance forms. So let's go to part two. In part two, we have the following molecule, where we have two oxygen, a carbon, a carbon, and three H's. So our goal will be to draw as many resonant forms or as many major resonant forms as possible. So, let's begin by moving electrons. Well, what's one way that we can move electrons here? Well, we can basically take a pair of electrons here, we can create a double bond here, and these two electrons can be moved in onto this oxygen. And we will create the following molecule, or compound. Remember, our atoms have not actually moved, so our atoms remain the same. What does move are electrons. So, now this has essentially flipped. Now we have a negative charge on this upper oxygen and a neutral charge on the bottom. Well, what's another way that we can rearrange things? Well, we can surely take this bond here, the double bond, the pair of electrons, and move it onto this oxygen here. So let's do that. So once again, keeping in mind that the resonant form represents a arrow that looks like this. And once again, no atoms are moved. Now we have the following picture. In this picture, we have now developed a minus on top, a minus on the bottom, and we have a plus one on the carbon. So now we have the following species. Now notice here we have only one negative charge, one negative charge, but in this resonant form we have two negative charges and a positive charge. Remember, whenever we have a lot of charge, a lot of charge stabilizes the structure. And that basically means that these two resonant forms will be more important than this resonant form. So these are our major resonant forms. Now let's jump to part three. In part three we basically have a very similar structure to this except now we have an H bonded to our oxygen. So we have a neutral atom. So let's continue and let's draw. What's one other way that we can draw this in terms of resonance? Well, we can surely take this pair of electron, place it here, and these electrons will move onto this oxygen. And we will develop the following uh, Lewis dot structure or resonant form. Remember, um, our atoms don't actually move, atoms stay the same. Uh, but now we have 
the following picture. So here we have an H2. Now, notice what happens. This has one, two, three, four, five, so this develops a plus one charge. This develops a negative one charge. And so an overall net charge on the entire molecule is still zero, just like it is here. So let's draw one other resonant forms for this molecule or compound. What's another way we can draw it? Well, what if we just simply take this bond and move it back here? Well, let's try that. So we will have the following picture. Now, this carbon will develop a plus one charge. This will be neutral. Let's fill our electrons here. And this guy here will have a negative charge. So we're going to have an overall net charge of zero. So what happened here? Well, here we had electrons that went on to here. So this concludes our major resonant structures. Now, of course, more resonant structures exist, but these guys are the major resonant structures for these compounds or molecules.